Well, my name is Rodney Hughes. I'm a third year doctoral candidate in higher education at the Pennsylvania State University. Uh, and I'm starting my second year serving as a member of the Council of Students uh, for the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi. Hi, I'm Samantha Perez. I was inducted at Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond, Louisiana. And I'm currently a graduate student at Tulane University. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Harrison. I currently serve as the Vice President for Students for Phi Kappa Phi on the National Board of Directors. I also serve as a representative on the Council of Students and I serve as a student vice president in my local chapter at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, SIUE. Hi, my name is Jennifer Worley. I was initiated at Southeastern Louisiana University Phi Kappa Phi and now I am currently at East Carolina University in North Carolina. I joined Phi Kappa Phi for the opportunity to be involved with the largest, oldest, and most selective all discipline honor society in the nation. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist. I'm so happy I did it. I saw how every year they hosted a quiz bowl that brought together all of these different organizations on campus, whether they were, you know, sports organizations or, or math groups or, or anything, you know, honors organizations, and it didn't matter. It brought everyone together, and I loved that. I wanted to become a part of it. I was inducted into Phi Kappa Phi my last semester as an undergraduate at Penn State and when I knew that I was going to stay at Penn State for graduate study, I spoke with our chapter president and let her know that I wanted to get involved with the chapter. Uh, I was fortunate enough to receive a fellowship for my graduate study, uh, but I knew that not many students at Penn State knew about the Phi Kappa Phi awards programs. Uh, that was actually something that very much attracted me to the organization. I did want to have more contact with the different um, disciplines that are out there and not just my own. One thing I noticed is when I interacted with those people, I was instantly intrigued with their ideas, whether it be about scholarships, about promoting student programs, things of that sort, and building my chapter up. Uh, whenever I think about Phi Kappa Phi, I just think of all the room for conversations across academic perspectives and the opportunities for students uh, to learn from each other, uh, but also to learn uh, from faculty members who could be members of their institutions in, in ways they might not have been able to uh, without access to Phi Kappa Phi or learning from uh, many of the alumni and many of the active members who are active in, in many different academic and uh, professional arenas. Uh, and I think it's really important to unite that interdisciplinary perspective uh, with meaningful service. Uh, service is part of Phi Kappa Phi's mission. So just make sure your voice is heard and that you keep telling them that you want to help and you want to help the society as a whole grow. I would definitely tell them to get involved. I mean, no matter what, if they see a project that they would like to, you know, get started in, do it. If you have new ideas, suggest them, because Phi Kappa Phi is a growing organization. It's, it's a place for new ideas and innovation, and it's, it's a place to learn. If you're ever considering joining the Honor Society, I highly consider it, because not only will you help yourself on an educational level, but also on a professional level. And Phi Kappa Phi has relations that even when you continue outside the academia world, to stay involved as a member at large and to continue to reap the benefits, whether it be corporate benefits, membership benefits, or whatever you like. So I highly encourage you to go do that. Thank you.